Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Michael and I'm bitten by Radioactive Book. Today it's November 1st and I'm going to present you my November TBR. I'm going batshit crazy this month and I have a huge pool of books lined up. I will not get to every book because I have a pool of like 16 uh, books for a month with 30 days. That yeah, won't be plausible. Last month I read like 10 books and I hope to get into yeah this kind of region again. Maybe uh, read one or two more. Um, but I'm going to present you the whole pool. First off we have Tome of the Undergates by Sam Sykes. It's the first in his Aeon's Gate series. Um, actually I wanted to read another book by Sam Sykes because the uh, I have an art copy of uh, The City Stained Red, uh, the first book in his new series, but as I started reading it, I yeah, saw one or two familiar names that I knew from the synopsis of Tome of the Undergates, and then I realized that this second trilogy is actually set in the same world with the same characters and probably after the events of Aeon's Gate. I'm not sure about that, but um, then I didn't want to spoil me for the first trilogy because I already bought all three books in the first trilogy. And so I decided uh, not to read the arc but start with this series. Um, and the novel is actually about a group of mercenaries or adventurers. They're really unconventional uh, characters, not really hero types. Um, there seems to be a lot of humor and banter in there as well and yeah that sounded intriguing to me. Like a fun grim dark read if there's something like that. Next up we've got The Three Body Problem by Chi Jin Liu. Um, this is a science fiction novel. I got this as an art copy as well. Um, and many of the SFF booktubers actually got this as an art copy. And many of us are reading this this month or have read it last month. And um, there will be, I think, a live show uh, discussing the book around the middle of the month, so yeah, look forward to that. Um, I don't know a lot about it. Uh, um, the author, as you might guess by the name, is a Chinese author, and it's the first book in a trilogy. In China, the um, trilogy is out for a couple of years now, and this is the first time now that it's translated into English. It's very successful. Um, in China it uh, deals with aliens coming to the planet and various factions then yeah, uh, receiving them for, yeah, for different purposes. Some want to uh, be, yeah, live under their rules, some will, will fight against them, some want to yeah, engage with them diplomatically, I think. Uh, we have different nations in it. Um, it sounds really, really interesting, and yeah, I'm really intrigued to see where this is going. Next up, we have the Six Gun Tarot by R.S. Belcher, the first in the Golgata series. It's a weird western story, so weird western is like a steampunk setting, but not in Victorian London or England, but in the Wild West. Um, Golgata, I think if I remember the synopsis correctly, is a little town uh, and the town is filled up with interesting characters who may or may not be uh, paranormal characters um, and yeah, uh, I don't know much about the, the whole story of it but the kind of setting with steampunk, supernatural a uh, crossover feeling in the Wild West seemed very, very intriguing. And in addition to that, um, this was the uh, fantasy pick for the Dragons and Jetpacks group on Goodreads. Um, and yeah, therefore I'm going to read it. Next up we have The Abyss Beyond Dreams by Peter F. Hamilton. It's um, a first book and a new series or trilogy by him. I don't know 
what it's going to be, maybe only a duology. Um, it's also set in his Commonwealth universe, where we have like multiple uh, series uh, in it so far. Um, I've never read Peter F. Hamilton before, so I'm really intrigued to find out uh, yeah, what this whole universe is about. I hope this is readable uh, without having yeah, prior knowledge uh, to it. I got this as an uh, art copy, so there will be a review of it. And I'm going to buddy read this with Brie from Stories from Shelves, or Stories from the Shelf. Um, and we both don't have a clue about the uh, universe by Peter F. Hamilton. And so this will be fun to find out yeah, what this is all about. As you can see, I have quite a few buddy read uh, uh, and group read um, novels planned for this month. And so let's continue a bit with this kind of theme. Next up, I'm reading Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Um, I'm reading this together with Sabrina from Sabrina Everywhere and Brock from Let's Read. Um, yeah. We're all intrigued by Sanderson's Cosmere universe and um, have read a few of the books. The others, I think, have read more than I have so far. I'm very behind on the Sanderson train, but you're going to see this uh, quickly changing within the next two months. Um, and yeah, Warbreaker is one of the books that I haven't read by him and I'm really excited to read it. Next up we have Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. I actually planned this um, l already last month, but then yeah, a lot of other books happened for me and I'm going to buddy read it now this month with uh, Ness from Wonder Ness. And yeah, I'm really excited to get into the series. I know that Samantha from Novels and Nonsense is a huge fan. Um, it is a sword and sorcery book about these two thieves, Hadrian and Royce. And yeah, they got into or get into all kinds of trouble. I'm really excited to get into uh, the books by Michael J. Sullivan because I heard so many good things about them. Another buddy read I'm going to do is The Once and Future King by T.H. White. It's a retelling of the uh, Arthurian legend, uh, one of the most famous ones, and I'm doing this as a buddy read within the Booktube Reading Buddies group. Uh, the buddy read is organized by Nicole from Nicole's Adventures in SFF. And we have, I think, at the moment, like 10 people who uh, are going to participate. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, to this. The Arthurian legends were something I really enjoyed as um, a, a teenage boy. And I haven't read uh, any of those uh, in the last, maybe, decade or even longer. So yeah, it will be interesting to see what this is all about. And last but not least for the buddy read section is Iron Jekyll. It's the third book in Chris Wooding's Tales of the Catty J series. It's a steampunk fantasy featuring yeah, a crew of misfits of the ship uh, Catty J, uh, Katty J um, captained by uh, Dorian Frey. A very interesting and fun character. I read the first two books and both were five star reads for me. I'm a huge fan of the series and so is Estelle from Odom and Ta and she organized um, a yeah buddy read of the last two books, uh, The Iron Jackal, which we are going to read in November, and then The Ace of Skulls, which we are reading in January. Um, and yeah, there are a couple of other uh, booktubers um, part of this buddy read, and I'm really looking forward to it, because I enjoyed the first two books so much. And as this is a third book in a series, there is a little sub-theme here for me in November, because I plan to read and finish a lot of series now in uh, November and December to wrap up 
uh, some of my started series or continue at least with them. And the number three is playing a prominent role. Not only am I reading the three body problem and not only is the Iron Jekyll a third book in a series, but some other of the pooled books are actually third parts of a series and now we're getting to them. First up we've got Emperor of Thorns by Mark Lawrence. It's the final volume in the Broken Empire series. Uh, last month I've read the second book together with Samantha from Novels and Nonsense. We both enjoyed it a lot. It was a four-star read for us and I'm yeah uh, eager to find out how the saga of uh, the villain Jörg uh, will end and uh, I'm going to read the final volume of it this month. This is one of the books I'm pretty sure of that I'm going to read this month. Another third book I'm trying to read is the final volume of Kate Elliott's Spirit Walker series. It's Cold Steel. Uh, the third one after Cold Magic and Cold Fire. It's a very intriguing world because it's a kind of alternate reality Europe, but where actually African culture was more dominant and Europe is more of a backwater um, from a global perspective. There is a prolonged ice age going on and there are mages running around, ice mages and fire mages. There are magical races in the world. For example, trolls are prominent and trolls are like native inhabitants of um, the US. Um, so it is very, very uh, interesting. It's a bit uh, of steampunk. It's a bit of fantasy. It has some romance elements in it, uh, a female protagonist. And the first, the, the first book was very enjoyable and it was a, f a four star book for me. The second book dragged a bit. It was a three star read. And now I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm eager to see how the series concludes. It's a very unique series and yeah, let's see how it ends. And another third and final volume I have is Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. It's the final novel in her Dot of Smoke and Bone series. Uh, I read the first two books, but both were four star uh, books for me. Uh, I think you have seen them around uh, um, booktube already so I don't go into too much detail about it because yeah it's already the the third book and will be the climax of the series and yeah I'm really looking forward to get into it and another third book I'm planning to read is A Bat and Skate by James S. A. Corey it's a science fiction space opera the third in the Expanse series the Expanse series is a, yeah, as I said, a space opera set only in our soul system. So humanity has colonized other planets uh, in our soul system, but didn't get far. And we have like uh, um, an alien presence, but it's more, more subtle, more presented in a horror uh, kind of way. And of course, we have conflict between yeah uh, different interest groups um, uh, in humanity. We have the Earth Alliance. Uh, we have the uh, Mars uh, or the people living on Mars, and we have the so-called Belters who live on the asteroids of the asteroid belt. Um, and yeah, all of them are. Uh, in kind of a reluctant peace together. Nobody trusts each other. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's the third book, so stuff has already happened that I'm not going to spoil for you. Uh, interesting fact uh, about it is uh, Sci-Fi bought the rights to the series and uh, um, the series is uh, written uh, as we speak. Uh, so this will be a show coming to your TV in the very near future. So yeah, um, and the first book was a five-star read for me. The second book was, I think, a four-star read for me. And I'm yeah, really eager to find out how the series continues. 
Another th series I want to finally continue is the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. I'm not at the third book yet, but uh, I will be hopefully uh, next month, because this month I'm going to read the second book, The Well of Ascension. Um, yeah, I don't have to tell you anything about the Mistborn series. Uh, I think you've seen it uh, a lot of times already around. And I read the first book uh, last year. And now I really want to find out how this continues. So now we're getting to the last part of the pool. As I said, the number three is very important this month. And this is not, um, and these last three books are not third parts of a series, but there are like three books coming from the same pool of books because um, in my German group I'm participating in an ebook challenge each month and uh, there we pick a, a random three random numbers from each other's um, ebook TBRs and um, it's always three random numbers and um, yeah the challenge is at least to read one of the three books and so I'm trying to read one out of the pool of three I'm going to present you now um, but I'm not sure which one and as my TBR is already uh, huge I might only get to one but in a perfect world I would read all three of them. First off, we got maybe the most prominent one of the uh, trio. It's Skaldagory Pleasant by Derek Landry. It's a middle grade series about yeah, Skaldagory Pleasant, who is kind of a skeleton detective. Uh, and he teams up with a, uh, yeah, a girl. Um, I don't know much about it, but I think in the end, uh, the last book in the series just came out and it's like eight or nine books in the end and yeah it's uh, very whimsical very fun and I'm yeah really looking forward to get into this. Next up we've got In Thunder Forge by Ari Mamel. Um, I don't know anything about it other than it's a steampunk fantasy and I really like the cover. Sometimes that's enough for me to buy a book. And the final book of my ebook challenge this month is Arena Mode by Blake Northcott. Um, this is a kind of an indie author. She always um, yeah, finances her books via Kickstarter. Um, and I read a review about this first book, Arena Mode. I think a year or one and a half years ago on a on the Biblio Sanctum, which is a fantasy and science fiction blog I'm following, and um, it's a kind of mix up of superhero novels meet the Hunger Games. So we have uh, like superheroes in the world and uh, or people with superpowered abilities and then i think there's some kind of of millionaire or billionaire who takes a part of new york city or at least of a big town and makes it into a kind of arena and uh, yeah there's a huge prize and superpowered uh, people fight there for this kind of prize and the main protagonist actually doesn't have superpowers but prepa uh, pretends to have superpowers uh, to take part into this fight because he wants to get the prize money. I think that's the kind of overall plot. Um, and the last book of this trilogy uh, just came out this month, I think. Um, yeah, and it's uh, something that intrigues me uh, and I'm really looking forward to get into it. Before I close, I'd like to give a little shout out to all of you other booktubers out there um, who are participating in NaNoWriMo 
um, this month. As you can see with my huge TBR, I'm not participating in that, but I know that many of you are. And so I say good luck to you all. I hope you achieve all your writing goals um, that you have set yourself, that you come up with uh, really great stories. And uh, maybe I'm lucky enough that one or two of you, if the story really yeah comes to fruition, uh, will share it with me. Um, yeah, and good luck to you all. That's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on my channel, look inside the description box. There's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really good book too. Bye.